Hello, my name is Scott Inger. Welcome to your 15th Blender uh, 2.6 tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be teaching you how to add some uh, of the, the assets that we created in previous tutorials to the wall we created. We will not be going over how to actually make the game yet, and we might be doing some more tutorials on how to do this stuff. So let's open up Blender 2.6. And we're gonna go to our recent. If you don't have your world in the recent, you might want to go open that. But I'm because I have it there. Okay. So now we have a world, but we want to add. Let's say one of the rocks we created. So let's hit Shift. No, not Shift A. Go into File. Click Append, which is above Import and Export, but right below Link. So let's click Append. And it's going to bring us to the folder where the world is. So I'm going to click on Assets, which is where our rocks are. And you click Rock, and I'm going to use the second rock that I made. And you click on Object and Landscape, because we used the Ant Landscape to create that. And just link slash append to the from library. And now you can see we have Boulder in our well, now we can just control grab that, put it there, just grab it down, grab, uh, let's just put it down in there, me out a little bit like that, and just leave it like that. And now there's a nice boulder that we have over there. And quickly, just to show you guys one more, I'm going to go into File. I'm going to add the uh, barrel that we created previously, and I'm going to click a pen. Go back up, app, back up, back up, back up until we're into our assets folder. And I'm going to go into barrel, click barrel, click object, and cylinder. You, you want to make sure you click the object that is the actual thing that we're importing and click link slash append. And there we have it, our little. Barrel, make that a little bit smaller, and now we can see that it's there and it's ready and just ready for us to use for our tutorials. Well, considering that's all that really needs to be going over in this tutorial, I think in the next tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create a quick fence so that when we do start our game, we can not fly off the edge when we're playing. Okay, well. I guess that'll be all I'm talking about in this tutorial. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you guys enjoy these tutorials, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.